Uh, for those of you who are not as familiar with Ambition, let me start by talking a little bit about the scorecard. So Ambition breaks it up for us in regards to activity uh, uh, and objectives. And activity are those metrics or KPIs that lead to the results, the desired results. So if I go into one of our roles here, uh, and by the way, I'm not going to cover the other departments as much here today uh, so we can focus on sales, but we have rolled out ambition uh, across other departments. So we have our um, account management, what we call restaurant success teams using this so that they can also have clarity into their activity as far as all the tasks that they're required to do each day, each week, each month. Uh, and it's created a really great energy and environment across the office because more than just sales gets, gets to use ambition these days. But if you look at uh, account executives here, the first, the first score we're setting is the activity score. And again, these are the, the metrics that lead to the results that we want. And we look at our historical data to see, all right, what kind of activity do we need to put in on these to be able to achieve quota for a sales rep. And so we have it as them sending uh, 50, 15 emails, uh, scheduling three demos and completing two demos and 40 logged calls every single day. And if, based on historical data, if the account executive is able to hit these metrics, now each account executive is a little bit unique as far as their conversion and win rates, but overall, if they're able to hit these metrics every day, they should hit the quota that they're expected to hit each month. And this is, Super important for them because they can track this every uh, in real time throughout the day, and they know every day when they leave the office whether they've won or lost based on the activity they need to put in to hit their their objective goal. So even if you don't get any sales today, if you if you score a hundred on your activity score, you should feel good that you're on you know you're doing all the right things, and if you're working with your manager, um, those deals should come in. And so the weights here mean that you know ten percent of the activity towards emails, 30 demos scheduled, 40 complete. This is the importance that we're giving each one of these KPIs. So you can see over to the right over here that you know for every demo you complete, you're gonna get 20 points. And again, a good day is when it adds up to 100. And you, for us, 100 is the minimum. So we actually put these in as the minimum uh, benchmarks. So you wanna leave every day being scoring 100 or greater. So that's the activity score and that should lead uh, to an objective score and objective score we measure over the month uh, again to go back to the activity score down here You can see that these are the, the daily KPIs that we're looking for you can also measure them weekly if you prefer we're a highly transactional uh, SaaS sales um, Workforce so we we look at daily activity um, But you can also measure that in weekly if, if that's what you prefer and with the objective score We're just looking at a month. So for us, it's, it's bringing 12 restaurant locations on board each month and so you want to work towards a, an objective score of 100 for the entire month. Uh, you could do this with revenue. We do it on a unit basis, but if you prefer to do it with revenue, you can. And it all syncs up really well to Salesforce. So the data is already in Salesforce. It just comes neatly here to Ambition. 